that, of course, is if Tuesday's game against the Memphis Grizzlies is an indication. With Clint Capella sidelined for four to six weeks with a thumb injury, Chris Paul still recovering from a hamstring issue, and Eric Gordon, neat still out, Harden is the only prominent scorer left on the Houston Rockets, and he showed just that with a 57-point explosion against the Grizzlies, leading his team to a 112-94 win. A day after going 1 of 17 from downtown, Harden rebounded in a big way, shooting 17 of 33 from the field, including 6 of 15 from downtown. It continues what's already been a historic stretch from the reigning MVP, he's scored over 30 points in 17 straight games, including 10 games with 40 or more, and may be the Rockets' only answer to their injury woes. Tuesday, January 15, you listen. On this week's League Pass and Chill, we go over the drama brewing in Boston, DeMarcus Cousins' upcoming return, and who we think will start the 2019 NBA All-Star Game. Subscribe to League Pass and Chill here, Daniel House Jr. chipped in with 15 points for the Rockets, who improved to 25-18 with a win. Mike Conley led the way for the Grizzlies with 14 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists, his team having lost 8 of their last 9 games. Nets down cold Celtics, and their fans got brutal we've reached a new phase in the NBA when Brooklyn Nets fans are secure enough to taunt Boston Celtics fans, but that's just what happened on Tuesday. The Celtics have been in a bit of a slump, and the Nets took full advantage, with D'Angelo Russell scoring 34 points to down Brad Stevens' team 109-102, Simmons' first half dunk show 103 It was a relatively close game until the third quarter, when the Nets caught fire, as they seemingly always do, to win the period 44-21. That gave them a lead that ended up being insurmountable, with the Celtics losing their third straight game. Jared Allen had 19 points and 12 rebounds for the Nets, while Rodion Skurix had 19 points of his own. The Celtics were led by Jason Tatum's 34 points but it wasn't a great night for what should be an Eastern Conference powerhouse, with the Barclays center crowd making sure to leave the road team with a savage message. That's cold. Aussies in action, Baines' return is near before the Celtics game against the Nets, Stevens said Aaron Baines will have his broken left hand re-evaluated on Wednesday, AEDT. After that, we'll get a good idea when the Australian big man will return to action. In the San Antonio Spurs 108-93 loss to the Charlotte Hornets, Patty Mills came off the bench for 14 points, shooting 6 of 16 from the field. Today's SCORESBOSTON Celtics 102-109 Brooklyn NETSMEMPHIS Grizzlies 94-112 Houston ROCKETSCHARLOTTE Hornets 108-93 San Antonio SPURSDETROIT Pistons Utah JAZZPORTLAND Trailblazers Sacramento KINGSNEW Orleans Pelicans Los Angeles Clippers